I know, right? So this does not make any sense. That is why I was saying the language of this question is somewhat tricky and not 100% correct that it's, it is asking you to find the people who have the most friends. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. On this channel, we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the SQL 50 Crack SQL Interview in 50 Question series where we are trying to learn hands-on SQL using 50 carefully created questions covering diverse aspects of SQL. So we are already done with the select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, as well as advanced select and joins. We are currently working on subqueries and finally we'll be ending with advanced string functions, regex and clauses. In this video, we are going to solve this question called friend request part two, who has the most friends and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the 41st video of this series called friend request part two, who has the most friends. And if I look at the companies, this question has been asked in Amazon and Facebook, kind of an important question. Let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called request accepted with three different columns, requester ID, acceptor ID and accept date. The combined columns, requester ID and acceptor ID is the primary key that is combination of columns with unique values for this table. This table contains the ID of the user who sent the request, the ID of the user who received the request and the date when the request was accepted. We are asked to write a solution to find the people who have the most friends and the most friends number. The test cases are generated so that only one person has the most friend. Okay, let's go through this example and see what we need in our output. So here we have various requesters, the acceptors and the accept date and we find the person which has the most number of friends. So if I look at it, so requester ID 1 and acceptor ID 2. So basically now these people are friends. So for one, for ID 1, one of the friends is 2 another friend is three so id1 has two friends two and three now id2 has one friend which is one id2 also has another friend called three so again two also has two friends id3 has one friend two friend three friend so id3 has three different friends and id4 has only one friend whose id is three so maximum number of friends the id which has is three and the total number of friends the person has is three so that is what we have in our output now the language of this question is slightly confusing actually this is not what they are actually asking for who have the most friends but we will talk about it later when we you know try to develop our logic so in this case just think about it if i need to get for every particular id how many friends the person has it would be very easy to do if all the rows also have a swapped version of it what i mean by that is so when i say one sent a request and two accepted the request now they both are friends in that case requester id and acceptor id does not make much sense now because one is a friend of two and two is a friend of one so if we had a row where it was that okay one sent a request to two and was accepted then let's have another row called two and one and similarly for all these and then if you group by this particular column you can count the number of people in this second column so what i mean by that is if i you know if let's say return the first column right requester id as it is and the second column is acceptor id and then from from this table called request accepted and then what i am doing is have another version of this but we are swapping it so let's have another version but here firstly we are returning the acceptor id and then we are having a requester id and then let's union them both I am currently writing union, but the correct answer will come with union all. What is the difference between union and union all? Let's discuss that first. So when I write, so for example, if I have two ones, right? So for example, I have one and one. If I do one union one, the output is going to be one. So because there are duplicates, so it will only keep one of them. But if you do one union all one, it is going to have one one in our output you see union all keeps all the values irrespective of whether there are duplicates or not okay so this is what i am doing let me go ahead and run this and let's see what do we have in our output so if i go ahead and see that okay now we had up till now so this was what we had right so one two one three two three three four and then the swapped version that is what we are calculating so two one three one 
थ्री टू एंड फोर थ्री एंड दैट इज वॉट वी हैव नाउ जस्ट हेयर बाय लुकिंग एट इट इफ यू ग्रुप बाय दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉलम एंड काउंट दिस देन यू आर गोइंग टू गेट द नंबर ऑफ फ्रेंड्स ईच ऑफ दीज पीपल हैव हाउ इफ यू ग्रुप बाय द रिक्वेस्टर आई डी राइट सो हेयर इट विल हैव ओके वन ग्रुप वुड बी वन वन एंड इट विल काउंट ओके देर आर टू पीपल दैट इज वॉट वी कैलकुलेटेड मैनुअली एज वेल दैट वन हैज टू फ्रेंड्स देन टू हैज वन टू टू फ्रेंड्स अगेन थ्री हैज वन two and three friends and four has only one friend so you see this is how we are able to calculate the number of friends of each of the ids so now this becomes so this entire thing which we got becomes a table so what we can do is we can put is this entire thing into parentheses and let's ls this as whatever is coming out of it as a table t now and from this table t from this table t what we are doing is let's group by the first column and the first column is requested id you can do the other way round as well you can group by this and count this as well because we swapped it now the text requester id and accepted id does not have any much meaning left so group by requester id and then what i am doing is let me go ahead and return the requester id and this should be aliased as id in our output so as id and then we need to do count of the acceptor id column so acceptor id okay and this should be aliased as number okay uh, and uh, okay let me go ahead and run this right now not get complete but let's see so now here we have for every id how many number of friends the person has so obviously one has two two has two three has three and four has one so we are required to only keep the person with the highest number so how can we do that we can just simply go ahead and write order by the number column in decreasing manner and since we are only required to keep one so limit one and let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get okay so now here it says accepted and all green and our output is same as expected output remember we talked about this union is not going to give you a correct answer but union all will if i go ahead and submit it let's see what this gives so you see here it says it it didn't pass one of the test cases and here is the example of why it did not pass a test cases so for this particular case it was expecting the id 3 has four friends and our code return id equal to 3 has three friends let's look at this so here how many friends 3 has 3 has one of the friends whose id is 1 three also has a friend whose id is 4 this row also is basically the swapped version of this 3 is a friend of 4 and then 3 is a friend of 2 so 3 is a friend of 1 4 and 2 so in reality 3 is only a friend of 3 people but here how they are calculating 4 so they are saying that if 4 is sent a request to x and 3 was an acceptor this is a different case than 3 sent a request and 4 was a acceptor now just think about it if i sent you a request and we both become friends this question is basically suggested that i am a friend of you and you are a friend of me so they need to be double counted i know right so this does not make any sense that is why i was saying the language of this question is somewhat tricky and not 100% correct that it's it is asking you to find the people who have the most friends and most friends number act in reality what they need is even if you have a swapped version 3 4 and treat it in a different way than this why ours is returning 3 the problem is that here if you look at it right so 1 3 it will have another row called 3 1 okay then 4 3 will have another row called 3 4 now there is one row that already exists as 3 4 and we just learned that union if there are duplicates it will only keep one of them so at the end what is happening is there is one row called 3 1 one row called 3 4 and one row called 3 2 and that is why when you group by id then for 3 there are three number of friends and that is what it is returning but they also want to have this 3 4 which is already present as a separate part as well now one of the reason that i can think of is mainly because of this accept date since this accept date are different but yeah like they should have made this clear more 
okay so what i am doing is let me just you know instead of doing union just me just union all now let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now again the same thing accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it so it pass all the test cases so you see now this passed all the test cases and this is how we do it so yeah kind of a tricky question the language not as exact as what you want from lead code but yeah this is how we do it and if you are guessing where did we use the subquery so basically this entire thing is a subquery which is creating a table called t which we are using to count the number of people with the number of friends that they have so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video